All right, I'm back out here to want to dig into this engine and see if I can't figure out what, what caused my problem with getting the uh, coolant in the oil. Uh, so first thing I'm doing is I'm draining it out. I need to take that Fumato drain valve off of there, put it on my other truck when I do its oil change. Um, as you can see, this stuff is cold, it drains real slow. And looking at my floor, you can tell what happened. I got distracted sitting here cleaning, cleaning my garage up while I went for that thing to drain. So um, try to get it all drained out, get that, drain, that valve off of there. I want to pull this head off. I think my problem is over here. I started to put the oil, oil pump back on, try pressurizing it, see if I can't see exactly where it's coming from. But I, I really think that's a waste of time and, and I couldn't find any hose to, to fit this. So I'm just gonna stop. I mean, I, I, know, I know there's something inside with, with, with number seven. Uh, I've never taken these manifolds off. Uh, I did replace the, the up pipes on the other engine, which, I, which is in the blue truck now. So I've got a bunch of stuff to take apart. Uh, I'm gonna get it down to where I, I can I can pull that head off and uh, just, just, just get some you know get everything out of the way and uh, just go from there see what happens. All right, some I just discovered here. The uh, oil that's in the these uh, push rods don't seem like they've got water in them yet. So it may be that. It, it was really, really black when I, when I was draining these out. So, could be that, I mean, if you can just look at the color, that, that's, that's black oil that's, that's come up out of there. So, and of course, I don't know a whole lot about, about the, the, the oil that's in the hydraulic lifters, um, how long it takes to get through the system. So, uh, it appears that, um, Whatever happened, happened right at the last minute before I found it. That's, that's, that's where I'm at now. So, I've got the injectors pulled out, rocker arms, and I've just pulled those out. And I just noticed that, you know, as I was pulling them out, they were dripping, dripping black oil. So, the coolant didn't get completely through the whole system yet. So, I, I, like I say, I don't know how long that process takes, but it's kind of encouraging. At least it, it, it should tell me that I didn't drive it real far or drive it at all with, 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 with it like that. So no load on it, you know, maybe it didn't do any damage to the bearings, but ch chances are I'm gonna be completely rebuilding the engine uh, if, if it's salvageable, I should say. Anyway, let me keep keep at it. I've gotta, I gotta get this exhaust off of here and I know that's usually quite an undertaking. So let me get at it. All right, well, that was surprisingly easy. Um, these fought me a little bit. Um, I think just this one, these two right here, were a little bit, a little bit hard. This one here is a bit of rust down in that barrel, so you can see how this, it doesn't just fall right in there. It's, it's that's, ah, let me tear it up, y'all. Um, that's the only one that, 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 that really fought me any, was, was right there. I mean, I, I I did it by hand at first, break them loose, and then, then I used to put the air ratchet on it, so, uh, impact, I should say. So, next thing is these big bolts on here. I've already got the fuel line disconnected back here, and, uh, there's virtually nothing left of that little seal that's in there, so that was gonna leak sometime soon, as soon as you looked at it funny. So, now all I have to do is get, get all these head bolts out of there, and hook my chain hoist up to it because I understand these things are pretty heavy. I know the last engine I built was a 351 Cleveland and, and those heads were awful heavy. And I, I was 25 years old back then when I did that, that engine. So, uh, I don't know. We'll find out. All right, well, we got it uh, unbolted. It's kind of stuck a little bit.
not persuasive. Now that's loose. I can fiddle with that off and then we can get where we can look at it ah this is number seven right here um the cylinder walls look really really good still see the cross hatching in them um it was full of of coolant which is obviously what we expected this, this is the one where we had the problem um one thing i've noticed right off the bat each one of these pistons have how well you can see that um, I'm gonna zoom it in. Let's see if I can zoom it in. All right, let's see if you can see that now. You see an arrow up the top, basically at 12 o'clock, and I'm trying to see it in the camera here. It says cam, and each one of them has that stamp in there to show which way the piston is oriented. And when you look at number seven, it's not at 12 o'clock. So that tells me I've got a bent rod in this one cylinder right here. So it hydrolocked because water had got in there, which that's where my noise came from. Uh, 
and I guess maybe the compression pushed the water past the rings. I don't know. But I do not see anything wrong with the um, gasket, uh, the, the head gasket here. Let me, let me zoom you back out. All right. So just looking at it from this side, I don't see this. This is still number seven right here. I don't see anything wrong with the head gasket, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, see if I can pop it loose and see if there's any damage on, you know, evident on the other side. Uh, because at the moment, I don't see what caused that. Of course, it could be just the, the injector cup. The injector cup could have been the, the problem all along. Uh, anyway, let me see if I can get this off and, and get a look at it. All right, now we've got the head gasket loose. Uh, I don't see any place along here where I've got a track. Um, not on the gasket itself or the the grayish area there so it wasn't a head gasket and these things aren't known for for blowing head gaskets so unless I can find a crack somewhere the upper portion of that that cylinder or the this head it's gonna have to be that injector cup so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that thing out and see what it looks like All right, um, can't see it through the through my my GoPro, but it looks to me like there's a hole. It's like a round hole in the in the cup, so don't see a crack. And the experience I've had with the cracks is that they usually put um, fuel in in the uh, uh, in the coolant, not the other way around. Uh, so. I have had to, to change that before, so this is the tool I have. Uh, there's several different kinds. I really like this one here. Uh, so basically, you're gonna thread this in to the, to the injector cup, and then this goes down into the bore, and then we tighten this up, it pulls it out. Uh, if this was on an engine, I would put a penny down in the bottom of, of the cup to uh, block any of the, the, the shavings from the old, when you pull, you know, dig into that cup, to prevent those shavings from going down into the engine. So, Obviously, I don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, so, I've got to just tighten this down. It'll dig into that uh, uh, cup. And then you tighten the, the other nut. And that'll... Uh, What I'm doing basically is it's, it's a tap and it's threading into the cup. It's not really the impact really ain't designed for something like that. So I just get a couple of turns into the cup. And then I gotta find a socket that's gonna fit this. There we go. So we just tighten this down, it'll it'll pull that cup on a one out of there. This, by the way, this this I bought this from uh, Rosewood Diesel, uh, Rose Rosewood Diesel shop. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, Seven point three power stroke. Uh, so I'm curious if I can see anything from the outside here. This bottom section here is a side section that would have. Um, 
coolant on it. And the top section will be for, for the fuel. Probably the only thing I can do is I'm gonna have to get 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 to get to get this off. I'll just hit it with the job doing here. So I've got the tool in the vise, and I'm going to grab the very, very end of the cup, thread it off of that tool. I get the feeling it probably threaded into the part that I wanted to see. There's the inside of the cup. There's, there's where it threaded it in there. I don't know if... I gotta see if I can find that spot. Alright, well, there it is. Y'all can see there's a crack. This is uh, cylinder number one. It's got a pretty long crack. You can feel it with your finger. Here's That's another not look sure how well it's um, up here on the camera. This is cylinder number three. It's pretty easy to see. So basically, it's cracked between cylinder one and cylinder three.